Okay, thank you for watching. I've got another quick video here of the, uh, the Baofeng Basics series. I want to talk about the, um, the UV82 uh, family of radios. First off, there are a lot of different variants of this basic radio. Um, there's the UV82, the UV82HP, the UV82C, the UV82L, um, and a couple other variants. Uh, there's a, a GMRS only version. There's a, I believe an MURS or MERS only version. Um, there's several different variants of this, this radio. This one is currently wearing a high capacity battery pack, uh, but you can see that it's just, you know, a regular uh, UV82. Um, on the side here, One of the big differences between the UV82 series and the, um, most of the UV82 series, I should say, and the UV5R is the um, fact that the UV82 has two PTT push-to-talk buttons. Um, the UV82 also has its, uh, its FM um, and monitor button or function and monitor button a little bit clearly more clearly marked. So M is monitor. If you hold it down, just like on a um, you know more traditional uh, handheld transceiver. there so um the other i mean the menu is the same on these radios the menu uh the different menu settings are all ex the same except for one uh and that one is uh what again this does not apply to all uv82 radios but a lot of them have menu setting number 41 which is r tone um and it's got four different values 1000 hertz or one kilohertz uh 1450 hertz 1000 1, or 1750 hertz and 2100 hertz what this is is a repeater access tone so um this is not really used in the united states a lot but in other parts of the world in europe for example um in addition to a ctcss tone or tone squelch to open a repeater uh some repeaters require that you transmit a tone burst to open the repeater. Usually it's a 1750 hertz tone, um, but there are other ones out there. We've got 1000, 2100, and uh, 1450 as well as the 1750. So if we set that to 1000 and to transmit it, make sure that we've got this radio listening. down transmit to transmit the tone. Now that is 1000. That's the 1750 hertz tone sounds like. And then 21. So that's what that is. Um, and we're on a MURS channel, one low power, so you know, so. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Um, the other thing is the way that the radio switches between uh, memory and VFO mode. So on the UV5R, you've got, got the button right there, VFO MR, right? You can switch to VFO mode or direct frequency entry mode to memory mode. On this radio, it requires an extra step. You turn the radio off, hold down menu. Oops, Let's see if I can do this while holding the camera. Turn the radio off, hold down menu, and turn the radio back on. 
and now you're in memory mode. Um, there is no VFO MR switch. So see the memory there? Um, so to get back into VFO mode, you repeat the process. Turn the radio off, hold down menu, turn the radio back on, and that <laughs> Baofeng UV82, that's, I programmed that in there. It's, I don't think it actually says that from the factory, but. So that is, um, there, there's several other differences. Hello. Hello. That we'll talk, we can talk about in another video, um, having to do with the dual PTT. So you can see right here, if I, you know, transmit, I'm on the A side. If I press, even though I'm on A, if I press the B, it automatically switches me down to B. I want to transmit high power. We don't want that. So um, this is a uh, merge channel four. Uh, radio check one two one two radio check. Um, but it does not switch back to the A side. It it stays on B. So you know you could just do the AB switch, but pressing this button lets you switch between the sides for transmit. It's an interesting feature. I don't know. Um, uh, but yeah, if you hold down, or no, if you just tap that, it goes to FM. Broadcast, you see. Um, the other thing is with the audio accessories, and I'm going to make another video about this because it's we're already getting a little long. It's got the same Kenwood style or K1 connector. Um, however, because of this dual PTT feature, and I'm doing air quotes there, um, a lot of these radios, not all of them from what I understand, uh, will default to the B side, the lower side channel or frequency. Um, if you have a speaker mic or a audio accessory plugged in, PTT switch, even if you're on A, you press transmit, it reads that as you pressing that PTT button, not this one. So this is just a quirk, but uh, it's something to keep in mind. Uh, the UV-82, I really like the UV-82. Um, I really like the UV-5R. Uh, I think that they're both great radios. I think that for some applications, this is a superior radio because it lets you switch between memory mode only and VFO mode only. Um, this is a radio that I would feel more comfortable with uh, loaning out to people, issuing to people, obviously, with, you know, appropriate frequencies, channels programmed in it. Um, still a very capable radio. Uh, you know, especially with this high capacity battery pack, I really like this setup. It's got a nice, you know, kind of heavier, heftier feel to it. Um, you know, compared to the UV5R. Again, I run the UV5R with the high capacity battery as well. Um, and, uh, you know, if I had to have a radio, only one radio on Desert Island, um, a cheap Chinese handheld radio anyway, it would be a UV5R. Uh, if I had to have a radio on a Desert Island, it would be an HF radio with a bunch of batteries and solar panels and a big wire antenna full transmit and receive so I could uh, get on the marine distress frequencies and use those. Anyway, um, but yeah, there you have it, the UV82. Uh, these are good radios. Again, we'll, we'll do some more videos on these, but, uh, thank you for watching. That's it for now.